Good afternoon from Berlin. My name is Serkan Göchman. I'm heading the International Relations Department at JLL Residential Development Germany. Today, we will be updating you regarding the German residential market and how it performed during 2020. As you might be aware from our previous videos and presentations, Germany is the biggest economy in the European Union and it's one of the biggest economies in the world. It is the third biggest importer beside the US and China. So if we look at the residential markets, especially the German residential markets, I would say it's one of the most resilient asset classes in real estate. And it has also performed significantly during the COVID times. If we compare the numbers on year on year uh, with the second quarter of 2019, the residential prices have increased 6.6% according to the Federal Statistics Bureau. We've seen 13% increase in the first quarter and we're expecting in the second half of 2020 that the prices will increase. The main reason is actually because Germany is demand-driven market with 1.9 million affordable housing shortage. If we look at the big cities such as Berlin and Frankfurt, you will see vacancy rates below 1%, which means that the cities are sold out. Also, one of the significance of Germany is that during the COVID times, we've seen some investors or the people who are living in the cities that they are shifting to the urban parts of the big metropoles. Actually, in Germany, only 15% of the population is living in the big seven metropole cities. Although the big cities are the powerhouses of the economies, also they are the biggest uh, problem makers for the climate due to the global power usage of these economical power stations. So today we will be focusing on um, Berlin and Frankfurt and the opportunities that we have. We've seen in the A cities up to 80% capital gains in the last 10 years and we've seen 3-4% yields. And I can say that it's one of the most liquid market and it's one of the most resilient and safe market. As being the biggest spender of during the COVID times of the world with 1.3 billion euros allocated to fight against this pandemic, Germany residential market is performing very well. That's why today we will be explaining you why you should be investing in Germany and what do we have as opportunities that we can deliver to our clients. We have talked about the residential market overview. If we focus on the German capital, as you might imagine, it's the political center and it has been the capital since 1991. The Bundestag, the federal government and the Bundesrat is sitting in Berlin and approximately 18,000 ministry employees work in Berlin. We've got 159 embassies and there's a lot of seat of party headquarters, trade unions, foundations and the big headquarters of multinational companies. If we look at the uh, uh, economical upturn, we've seen more than 50% growth in GDP between 2008 and 2018 and uh, 40,000 companies founded every year. It's the largest urban economy in Germany. Its important economical sectors are the creative and cultural industries, tourism, medical technology, startups, and um, the main part for the consultants. So before the COVID, we have seen um, 13 and a half million visitors in 2018. The Berlin uh, has 3.7 million inhabitants and uh, we have got 187,000 students with 86 universities and technical colleges. So it's a hub for transportation in terms of train and airport. Approximately 300,000 passengers are traveling in Berlin's main railway station. Before we pass to the booming real estate market of Berlin, on the left side of this presentation, you will see actually the districts of Berlin. And you will see Mitte in the middle. Mitte means actually center in German. And Mitte is the most sold out district of the Berlin real estate market because most of the um, political institutions, uh, the big companies, uh, museums, so on, sits in this district. It's the most liquid district and it's the most demanded district. In Berlin, we've got different neighborhoods. So we have the East and the West Berlin. And today we will be more focusing on the most sold out district Mitte. Also, I would like to indicate that Mitte, you can say if you compare with the London market, I'm sure a lot of you are aware, this is like the Mayfair of Berlin. So I have already mentioned in um, 
my previous slide that Berlin has 3.7 million inhabitants, but uh, with the wider metro area, it's actually 5.8 million. The current vacancy rate is below 1%, which means that this market is sold out. Either the tenants are living over there or the owners are living, so 99% of the uh, stock is occupied. That's why this leads to a uh, high capital appreciations. In the first six months, we have seen during the pandemic times in all residential asset classes, uh, approximately 6.6% capital gain. In the first quarter, we have seen 13% in residential condominiums, which means that this is a true resilient asset class in real estate. The reason for that is I have mentioned in many of the presentations that this is a demand driven market because there's a shortage of 264,000 apartments by 2030 according to the state and according to independent studies. The unit completions in the last 12 months are around 16,000, which means that there is 16,000 apartments produced. Yearly there is approximately 25,000 apartments are demanded and if you take into account that there is 264,000 new apartments needed all I can say this is an organic growth market and it's one of the strongest markets in the whole world in terms of residential especially in Berlin if there's a unique situation only 17 percent actually this is 17.4 is the home owners which means that approximately 83% of the people are either living in their own apartments or their own rent. This makes Berlin the biggest buy-to-let market in Europe. One of the advantages of German property market is that the prime housing prices are being indexed. So which means that UK and Germany has a historical data kept by the government. If you look at this table, you can see that the index have started to monitor in 2004 and since then we've seen the highest number of all times. In this chart you can also see the Great Recession in 2008. Of course the market is affected as anywhere else, but you can see that it's reboosting very fastly. You don't see this in the other capital markets that easily. Usually this line indicates like a heartbeat because every market has their ups and downs. This shows how Christproof is the German market since 2004? Well, until now, we have explained you the serious part, but there's also fan facts about um, Berlin. So Berlin has 1,700 bridges. That's more than Venice, actually. It has 180 more museums um, than um, rainy days per year. 50% um, of the Berliners are single, so it's like a single heaven. Uh, we've got 18 moves per hour from one district to another. And usually 45,000 people dances in nightclubs every weekend. But unfortunately, this has gone down due to COVID because the nightclubs are closed at the moment. But I can assure you uh, before COVID that they were consuming 70 million sausages with curry sauce. I'm sure this increased. Dear guests, I hope you enjoyed it until now. We tried to give you a brief information about the German residential market how strong it is, how safe it is, how resilient it is if you compare it to the other real estate classes. So we focused on its capital, Berlin, and its booming real estate market. Now we would like to actually present you a sample investment opportunity, which is located in Mitte, the most sold out district of Berlin. So in Mitte, as you can see, there's a lot of embassies, restaurants, big company headquarters, and so on. But this project in particular, we call it embassy, is located in the small diplomatic quartier. Actually, it's next to the Chinese embassy, um, just over here. And I would say here is the embassy of Netherlands. Then we will see the embassy of Brasilia, Romania, and so on. Not being only located next to the embassies, it's also very close to the Museum Island, which is the main cultural um, place in Berlin where you can visit all the museums. Plus, on top of it, we have all the big company headquarters on East Berlin in Mitte. I can name you some of them, such as the SAP, KPMG, JLL, and so on. So I would like to move on to the project to show you what it is exactly in which phase, what is the investment opportunities, 
and why do we recommend you to invest in this property? But before we move on to the project, let's listen to the developer Adam Europe regarding their insight about the embassy project. I think we created a very great project, so unique because of uh, uh, this unique place we have there. We have a beautiful park there, we have um, 18 embassies around it, we have so many cafes, bars, um, young dynamic flair there. We have a unique facade and we have um, we, we took one of the best architects in Europe who created the best product for us. So uh, we are very satisfied with it and so happy and proud um, that it will be ready in a few months. So that's the right time to invest. Wow, I think it's the perfect time because the project is almost done. The scaffolding went up and we you can visit your apartment actually. It's, um, I mean, we will have in a few months the handover and if you invest in this project, you will have soon also a tenant and this tenant can also move in. So um, you're actually getting something or we created something that you can um, have very, very soon. And that's uh, a big benefit, I guess. Berlin is one of the biggest metropolis in Europe. We have so much culture here. We have one of the greatest universities in Europe. Uh, the demand is still there, even in this tough time. But we can see that the housing market um, is different than five years ago. The housing has uh, became rare and the rents are growing. And we have so many startups moving to Berlin. We have so many big players, big companies from the whole world moving to Berlin. So it means that we have more young professionals, more students, but the development is or, um, lower than five years ago. That's why it's the right time now to invest and it's, um, I think, for Berlin has or changed as well in the last years. And we can see that even now we are in this hard time. The banks are still financing with a low interest rate and the pricing in general went up, even we are in this pandemic. Well, we did a very um, easy process, buying process for the people. We, um, we can notarize through video calls. We we are always in contact with the clients via email, via phone, WhatsApp, whatever. We have so many technical solutions and of course we are dynamic and we um, find always a solution that um, the client feels um, well. Dear GLL guests, so behind me you will see the embassy project. As you can see in our presentation from the bird's eye picture, we've got six buildings over here. So this is house A, this is house B, house C, D, E and F. In total we have 133 apartments over here. For example, house A was bought by a single investor of ours, which is one of my favorite investors. House B was also bought by a single investor and these were not sold globally. We decided to sell them single, but they liked it so much because there was a guaranteed rent in this project. They decided to proceed with the whole building. We've got about 40% or 30% stock remaining, few units to be honest, and this will be delivered in April 2021 latest. So we are in the middle of the diplomatic quartier and plus we are in Mitte with an object which will be completed in four months. From the day that you buy, we have the service providers which actually guarantees you approximately three to three and a half percent yield before tax. So your tenant is in, your rent is guaranteed and you are parking your money and investing your money to the safest market in whole Europe. I call this the best European bank. So Berlin is delivering you approximately 10% capital gain on the money that you're investing. Yearly you are getting 3 to 3.5% three and, and the ticket sizes are below half a million. We still have some units. We've got one bedroom units, 
with guaranteed rent. So please get in contact with your local agency and don't miss the opportunities to invest in this product. Because in Mitte, in the future, although you will have money, you won't find um, plots available because this district is almost sold out for new projects. So please get in contact with your local dealers or with us. Thank you. Now we are switching to one of the most important cities. It's a very niche city. It's Frankfurt. It's the international hub of Central Europe. Actually, I call it the capital of capital because um, it's the financial capital by accommodating the headquarters of the stock exchange, the European Central Bank and many other financial industry. Uh, in terms of banking, we've got 215 banks, which consists of 63 local banks, 152 foreign banks, and 40, 41 international banks as representative offices. On top of this, um, this year, approximately 60 new licenses have been granted. 30 of them have already moved to Frankfurt. And a couple of weeks ago, JP Morgan has just announced that they're going to shift around 300 billion euro of assets to Germany and they will become the sixth biggest bank in Germany. So not only it headquarters the financial institutions, but also the auditing firms such as PwC, KPMG, Ernest & Young, the international consulting firms like McKinsey, Boston Consulting. Um, I'm not going to... Um, <clears throat> mentioned about my favorite company, John Lang LaSalle, JLL, and the international legal firms. It has a super e economical strength. It's got numerous international uh, companies. It's a preferred location for reallocation of the banks from the Brexit. It's got the strongest economy in Europe, actually. And as I said, it's a very niche market. It accommodates the top employers such as the Deutsche Telekom, Nestle, Allianz, Global Investors, Lufthansa, Deutsche Bank, uh, Commerzbank. These are the biggest banks in Germany and one of the biggest in Europe, Otsuko, uh, Fraport and uh, my company. If we are looking to the Frankfurt um, real estate market, it is as booming as um, Berlin, but with different characteristics. The main characteristic is uh, this is also a demand-driven market, but there is um, more lack of source in the city because it's a smaller city. It can only inhabit 761,700 people. Meanwhile, um, in the wider metro area, the population is 5.6 million. So millions of people are coming during the week to work in the city and going back to their home time during the week. The city can accommodate... Um, very small number of people because it has a very small city center although it's the um, capital of the finance in germany the vacancy rates are even lower than berlin which is 0.5 percent it has seen uh, capital appreciations not less than 10 percent in the last 12 months and um, if we look at the last five years, I've never seen this below 10%, to be honest. The increases in the rental prices are, are very stable. It's um, not as aggressive as the capital gains because once the people move into their apartments, actually, they don't want to move out because there's a possibility, highly possibility, that they might not be able to find their apartment in the city center. So the production over here is less than Berlin. It can only produce 3,500 units. There's 75,000 apartment uh, shortage at the moment. And the requirement for housing is approximately 8,000 units per year. So it's an organic growth market. It's as stable as any other German big metropoles. But I would say Berlin and Frankfurt is the two top performers of the residential real estate market in the last years and actually i would like to give you a perfect example um, frankfurt as you might know is considered as frankfurt and mine and they call it Manhattan because the city center is small there is you'll see a lot of high-rise buildings i wouldn't call skyscrapers because in china they might if you compare with it might be very very primitive eden tower is very special it's one of the last residential plots which is available 
and this developer is willing to sell the units individually. Usually the uh, developers, they keep it as a cash flow business. That's why whatever is built is not sold out. Eden is located in Europa Ale. Completion is going to be in the first quarter of 2022. The price ranges uh, starts from 355,000, goes up to 3.2 million. The sizes varies between 30 to 197 square meters, and we've got 263 apartments, and we've got like 10%. Um, we have the reservations we're trying to close down. The most important thing about this product is it's a very high end. The developer is a very well known developer, and the designer is Helmut Jan. If you've ever been to Berlin, to Sony Centers, or to Messe Towers, or the Beijing uh, International Airport, he's the designer, he's a living legend. Most importantly, the Eden project is developed by Immobile, and they're behind this beautiful high-rise building. And now we will be listening to their perspectives. For its first project in Germany, Immobile has chosen a very emblematic project. Not only it's extremely centrally located and therefore very visible, but it also has the highest green facade in a residential tower in Europe. The facade has 186,000 plants on spread over 2,000 square meters of green vertical area. That is about 2.5 times the size of the land on which the tower is built. The site used to be a semi-industrial area used mainly for car parking and storage purposes and it's, and it's just becoming an extremely vibrant living area. We are very proud that our first project is a building that is signed by Helmut Jan, who is an emblematic architect in Germany and in the rest of the world. As a developer, I believe that designing the cities of tomorrow is about trying to address the needs of the population. You need to know that um, what characterizes Frankfurt population is a very high number of young professionals coming to the city to work, essentially in the financial industry. I believe that Eden addresses those needs particularly well in the sense that it offers to young professionals solutions to live in the city while benefiting from green spaces. In terms of maintenance, um, the green facade will have absolutely no impact in the, on the residents. We have a whole elevator, an outside crane system that will uh, allow us to maintain the plants from the outside, meaning that uh, the residents will not be bothered with the plant maintenance. So now we are in the Grand Tower. This is a building which was actually um, completed before Eden Tower. I call them the sister towers because they're in opposite of each other. Grand Tower is actually the tallest building in Germany. And as you can see from this floor, we have the Eden Tower behind us where they are in the 19th floor. And as you can see, there is not too many um, places like Eden Tower as a location which is residential. If you look around, you won't see any residential towers except one or two because the rest are used as office buildings since Frankfurt is the heart of the finance world in Germany. So this building will be completed very soon. As you can see, they are moving very fast. It's not affected through Corona because in Europe we had some slowdowns or delays in the construction due to the um, labor because they were coming from abroad. But this company has managed it very well and we are expecting them to deliver on time. So this is a spectacular building. It's not a alone building. Eden Tower is actually a tower in middle of a compound which has rental apartments, which is not as luxury as Eden. They will be rent purposes and they will be around um, much cheaper rents um, than the Eden Tower. Then we have the hotel building next to it. So this is a big compound and it's going to change the whole neighborhood. And there is going to be in front of it, the metro station, which will be actually connecting you to the U5, which you can see there is the Messe, the exhibition center. And behind us, you can see the rest of the business district over here. So um, this is the Skyline Plaza, which we were in front of it. You can always have a coffee or something here. Then we have all the residentials going back. 
So in behind you will see the Aven Tower, the last residential plot in this district. And here you can see the Europa Allee. And in the middle is the new U5 station, which will be operating in the next coming years. So this U5 will be connected to the Messe and going to the end of the city. Um, the exhibition center here is actually one of the biggest exhibition center in Europe. As you can see here is the entry of the Skyline Plaza, the biggest shopping mall in Frankfurt. Actually, you are just like 50 steps away from your doorstep if you invest in Eden. So by walk, you can reach the 170 shops over here. And around us, you will see a lot of hotels, you will see a lot of restaurants, you will see a lot of businesses and so on. So schools, fine dining and so on. So this is a place which has the perfect transportation links. It has the perfect location. It has a very good price range because nowadays you cannot find anything less than 12, 13 and a half thousand per square meter in the skyscrapers, especially in such international projects which have international architects involved. So we highly suggest you to take advantage of this investment. The good part about Berlin or Frankfurt, it doesn't matter if, it's, if you're going to invest in Embassy or Eden, because in both of the projects, we have a guaranteed 100% occupancy through our service providers, Urban Ground. They offer you the rental payments, even if they do not found a suitable tenant. So your tenant is Urban Ground, which gives you between three to three and a half percent gross yield. And they offer scale rental, which helps to maximize your return on investments for your property, either in Eden or Embassy. So by this, the operating costs are eliminated. You don't have to hassle because you're located somewhere else in the world with all the renting procedure, because everything will be taken care of our solution providers. So as GLL, we are looking forward to consult you with your investment intention in German residential market. We hope that you enjoyed our latest German residential market update with giving you two investment opportunities in its best performer cities, Berlin and Frankfurt. And I hope to meet with you next time presenting Hamburg and Munich. So today, actually, I will take advantage of being in the location of the project and take a boat from here and enjoy the rest of my day. So I'm wishing you a wonderful afternoon in China and I'm hoping to see you in Berlin in your next visit. Till then, stay safe and take care of yourself. Thank you.